Hi, Assalamualaikum. Today, I will talk about development of childhood occupations. Mm, a child learns new occupations mm, based on the facility that she or he bring to the activity. Mm, that means mm, the child will learn from their environment or what they was hit or look every day in their life and um, also motor and practice sensory perceptual um, emotional regulation cognitive and communications or so and also social skill was contribute to occupational performance um, where all this was very important to make sure the child um, has the skill or uh, learn the skill um, through the development. Um, also, um, where children develop occupations through participation in family activities, and cultural practice uh, as a child participates in the family's cultural practice he or she learns occupations and performance skill uh, that enable him or her to become a full participant in the community um, where the Rogov explained people develop as participants in cultural communities um, here, what we can say is um, development of child occupations was encouraged um, by the activities was they are participate in their routine or in their family routine or fam uh, activities. Okay, now we look about the development of play of occupations are uh, infants to birth to six months where the play occupations was exploratory play when the child was put their toys or things in their mouth and they are play with sensory motor play uh, with their and they are play with their sense with hands with mouth and also with five cents and in social play um, actually the child focus on attachment and bonding with parents where they are feel their parents are the best um, things or feel safe in their life and or in their uh, environment in this um, play occupations. Mm, now uh, about the development of play occupations infants to 6 to 12 months where the child uh, still exploratory play and with, uh, they are play with their toys or things and put in their mouth and explore with their sense mm. and sensory motor play involved into functional play also mm. where begin to use toy according to their functional purpose where uh, where they are look a uh, horse they will do a uh, action like a horse like a walk or run and in our social play uh, this child uh, attachment to parents and caregivers social play with parents and elders where they are not um, engaged with friends or their um, kids uh, their, or other kids in this 
uh, development of play occupations. Okay, um, about the development of play occupations, infants to twelve to eighteen months, where the play occupation in this level was relational and functional play, where they are engaged in simple pet and play, uh, like shower the baby, eating eating or cooking um, and then sleep the baby uh, direct towards safe pretty eating or sleeping and also links two or three scheme in simple combination demonstrates imitative play from an immediate model what they have looked and learned from their uh, environment and this will enhance their skill to develop their play occupations in this age. And um, for gross motor play, explore or space in the room where they are can go everywhere to explore the room or the environment. And rows and cross in play close to the ground where they are to learn or to use their mm, sense to play with their gross motor and about the social play uh, begins peer interactions where they are um, can sit beside the other kids where that's mean uh, parallel play in this stage for kids sit near with others while uh, social play and um, now is development of play occupations where toddlers to 18 to uh, 24 months um, whereas the play, occupa uh, play occupations which is functional play uh, where multi scheme combinations and perform multiple related actions together where the kids can play together with other kids uh, two or three or uh, mm, more kids in these play occupations and they will play with toys that they can involve together uh, and then gross motor play is enjoy sensory input of gross motor play where the kids can use their gross motor to do physical activities and um, for pretend or symbolic play uh, mass inanimate objects perform actions such as dress dancing, eating, hugging, pretend that objects are real for that they symbolize another object mm. where they are uh, use their imagination to play with uh, other toys and about the social play uh, they was participants in parallel play for these kids in this age and imitate parents and peers in play and participate in group of children to play together for activity they are involved.